What's up, you guys? Carlos Char here. Fightfulboxing.com. Fightful.com. Here to give you the latest regarding Gervonta Davis and the situation surrounding his February 9th title defense. Gervonta Davis was supposed to face Abner Maris for the WBA Super Featherweight World title in the main event of a Showtime card from Carson, California. Unfortunately, it was rumored and later confirmed today that Mares suffered a right elbow injury during training. And so we got a new fight for Gervonta Davis. He will take on Hugo Ruiz on February 9th, still in the main event of that Showtime Championship Boxing telecast from Carson, California. Here's the article as it appears on Fightful.com and Fightfulboxing.com. The injury occurred, as I mentioned, during sparring at the Robert Garcia Boxing Gym in Riverside, California. Mata said he had experienced soreness in his elbow following his past two fights, but didn't think it was anything that would concern Mata or his team. Well, now it appears that it is of great concern as it forced him to withdraw from the fight against Gervonta Davis, a fight that has been brewing on social media for pretty much the second half of 2018. Both of them gone back and forth so many times, and it almost seemed inevitable that the two would fight for the title at some point. But now that's no longer the case. As for Ruiz, boy, this has been one of the strangest, probably one of the most topsy-turvy two weeks of his life, or at least of his professional life. So if you recall, a couple of weeks back, he was supposed to fight Jack Tepora for the interim WBA featherweight title on the Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner pay-per-view card on January 19. The day before, Tepora was massively overweight, but like, believe it was five and a half pounds over the 126 pound featherweight limit. And so... Ruiz was not able to get the fight, the title shot. He he actually, the fight could have continued as a non-title fight, but Ruiz didn't want to face Tepora. He then faced Alberto Guevara on the pay-per-view, and Ruiz won that fight comfortably by unanimous decision. And now, less than two weeks later, Ruiz is now getting the shot at not just an interim title, but actually not an interim title. He's now facing for a uh, facing Gervonta Davis for a world title. So imagine in the span of 12 days, 12 days, you go from being advertised for an interim title fight, then not getting the title fight because your opponent missed weight, then winning a fight on the opening bout of a major pay-per-view event, and then being advertised now to be in the main event of a Showtime TV card, the first major Showtime TV card of the year against one of boxing's biggest young stars in Gervonta Davis for a full WBA Super Featherweight World title. Gervonta Davis certainly likes that fight. He went to Twitter to talk about Hugo Ruiz and grow some shade towards Abner Mata saying, I think my opponent I have now is a better opponent than Abner. No disrespect. The fight between Davis and Ruiz headlines a triple header from what is now formally called the, the StubHub Center. Now is Dignity Sports Health Arena, I believe. And so that triple header includes two fights, in one of them being Javier Fortuna versus Sharif Boguere for the, uh, for an, uh, actually not for anything, but as a 10 round lightweight bout winner, could potentially be a contender for a lightweight title later on this year and then you also got mario barrios versus richard zamora in a 10 round junior welterweight matchup what do you think of this new fight between gervonta davis and ugo ruiz you like that fight better than gervonta davis versus abner maris leave a comment down below subscribe to our new fightful mma unboxing youtube channels head on over to fightful.com for all the latest news and MMA, pro wrestling, and boxing. We got you covered on all three fronts and all three sports. Call us to Fightfulboxing.com. Signing out.